There you guys. This is just more to make it a little clear how these motors actually work. I know Mike does I was wondering a little bit, asking me some questions. I'm not sure if he fully understands, so I'll just make a short video. Sorry about all the noise in here. I'm doing a little stuff here with the batteries. So the fans are running. Sorry about that. Set you up here. Hopefully this is clear enough. So I've marked out where the magnets are. North and south on the rotor. These top ones are nothing. I use these. I use these for a reed switch timing. At one point in time, they do absolutely nothing. So, as you can see, this Hall effect is going to turn on when it's south right here. It starts right here at this line. So that's where that Hall effect turns on. And this one is right here in the in the north. And it's off in the south. This one is on here. Or up in the in the south. That one's on. They're opposite to each other. So one coil's off, and the other one is on. And these coils are. I'll get the bobbin. Not the bobbin, but the core. These are ferrite cores, and they're just like that in there. And coils are wound on this side of them, right? So, and they're wound in series. So this is a north, and this is a south. But they act as one, because it's just like a horseshoe. So what happens here? So the Hall effect is gonna turn on right here in this south area and it's lined up right there so now it's on this magnet is pulling this north pole towards it and it's pushing it away on this one so pushing that one away and attracting this one to it and it's also pushing this one As you can see, that coil's pushing this one and pulling this one. This coil's pushing this one away and pulling on this one. So it does that while this is lined up at the Hall effect up to here. So now, this whole area right here, the mo this side of the motor is off. And now this one is turning on. But as it's going off, you get that sine wave that is produced by this pole flying by these two magnets right here. Electromagnets. Inducing a sine wave, which is when you have your RPMs high enough, it will hit the charging voltage of your output and go right into the cap dump or battery, whatever you're doing, but it's going to go through those diodes you know, that are right here on the circuit. So now it is fl flown by and put that power into the battery and now it's turned on again. And meanwhile this side is doing the exact same thing. But it, they, they alternate. One's off and one's on. That's why I made these motors like this. That's why you can't do this with a monopole. It's impossible. Um, they're all made like that. That's what makes them different. That's why there's two separate driver circuits. And always two drive coils. And you can see here. North, south, north, south. They're all like that. And they all do the same thing. Appreciate you guys watching a lot, and if you guys ever have questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm pretty busy, but I try to do my best here to get out here and work.
work on this stuff a little once in a while, you know. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it a lot.